Good morning, grade one students. How are you all doing today? You all are doing well? Good? You all are feeling good? Yes? No one is feeling sleepy in the morning? You all are very fresh. Tummies are full. Yes? That's great. And you all are ready to learn something, isn't it so? Yes or no? Correct. Great. Now, which class is this, children? Like, what is the subject right now? which you are taking. It's your literacy class and I'm your teacher, Shaista, taking your literacy lesson, right? Okay, now tell me students, what was the topic that we were doing in this whole week that we have done? To, as you know, today is the last day of the week, so we have started a unit. So can you name the unit which, that we have started? Yes, it was a story. We were doing a comprehension and what was the story about? Yes, that was about Jack and the special beans. It's a very, very famous fairy tale story. Yes. Okay. So can you recall what was the story about? Can you tell me in your own words what was the story about? Okay. There was a poor boy, Jack, who lived with her mother and they were very poor. Correct. So what happened? One day, mother uh, told Jack to sell the cow because they had no food to eat. So her, his mother asked him to sell the cow. So he went to sell, sell the cow. While on his way, he met an old man who asked him to uh, give him the cow. In, in, uh, and instead of that, he's going to give him some beans. So what happened then? Yes, Jack gave him the cow and took the beans. And when he went home, his mother was very angry because he uh, gave the cow with the beans. So what her mother did, his mother did, he threw the beans out from the window. Correct. So this is actually what the story is still uh, in your, uh, this thing, in your Nelson English book. Actually, there is more to the story that what happened the next morning when Jack woke up he found that the, where the mother threw the beans, there was a big, big, very big tree. And on top of that tree was a castle. So Jack went on top of that tree. He went to the castle and there he found some gold coins. And he picked those gold coins. While he was coming back, he met a giant. And then uh, he started running. Jack started running and he ran and ran, came down the tree while the... A uh, giant was following him. So as soon as he reached down, he took an X and cut the tree. And so the giant fell down from the tree and he died. Right? And what happened later on? Jack and his mom had a good time because they had you know, gold coins. So their life was very, very good. This is actually the whole story. Right? Now. Uh, you have done the story, you have, re uh, you have retell the story as well. Now tell me, children, that what was the, what is the meaning of setting? I've told you this thing also yesterday. Yes, setting means where and when the story took place. Now I'll show you uh, some picture in which you are going to find out what is the actual meaning of setting. Now, the setting is, the setting tells where and when the story takes place. Like here you can see it's a beach, this is a house, it's a valley. So, where the story took place, that is the setting actually. Now, here also you can guess, see, the setting is the time, when and place where a story takes place. The setting can change throughout the story. Example, in Little Red Riding Hood, there are two different settings. Setting one was the Little Red Riding Hood spends part of the story in the woods. The second setting was that uh, he went to her grandma's cottage. So the setting can change in the story. You can have more than one setting in the story. So coming back to this story, Jack and the Special Beans, what was the setting in this story? Yes, there were actually three settings, right? There were three settings in the story. And what, what, was, uh, what were they? What were the three settings? First was the garden, very good, where nothing was growing. 
second setting was road to the market where he went to sell the cow and what was the third one correct the third one was jack's house so as you can see it clearly here that these are the three settings they are talking about garden uh yes garden then it's the road to the market and this is the jack's house so these are three settings now what you are going to learn today you are going to learn about writing about setting now how you are going to write about setting by looking at the picture actually it is picture description now i want you all to quickly quickly open page 77 of your book this page can you all see this this setting yes okay now what you are going to do is look carefully at the picture imagine that you are standing in the garden with jack and his mother now this is you the jack and his mother and you are standing in the garden now what you are going to look at that is you have to find out that you have to answer these questions the words in the word box might help you now what are the questions the first one is what can you see so look very very carefully over here at the setting so what can you see in this picture yes i can see jack his mom and the cow standing in the garden very good and this is a picture of a garden and remember that you have to write the answers in a complete sentence okay and the other three questions i'm not going to tell you right now you are going to find out the answers yourself and later on we are going to discuss the answers as a whole class okay so there are four questions all together so i'm going to give you let's say 10 minutes for this task and your time starts now all right class time is up time is up let's check out what you have done now the first question the first question what can you see how are you going to answer this this question i can see in this picture that jack is standing with his mother and the cow very good very good so like this in a complete sentence you are going to give the answer now the second question is what sort of home is it now over here you can see the picture of their home so what do you think what sort of home is it it looks a old home and yes so that means it looks an old and small house right correct okay can you hear anything can you hear anything in the garden no you cannot hear anything in the garden okay what can you smell what can you smell in the garden you can smell you can smell the soil right because there are nothing is there growing in the garden except only the soil and grass is there so you can smell the soil and you can smell the grass correct so this is how you have answered the question and you have described the whole setting yes i hope you all have done in the same way yes correct now coming back to page number 74 i want you to look at the picture and describe the picture which is there on page 72 what is the boy and man doing yes the old man is asking the boy where he is taking the cow correct then the old man wants to want to get his cow so he offered him the beans correct so then and the boy is giving the cow to the old man right this is what is happening in the picture so when you are writing something or when you are describing a picture now what you are going to do children you are going to start writing that i can see in this picture okay right 
Now I explained you this by writing over here. You can clearly see. Oh, there you go. I can see. Sorry. See in this picture the old man is asking the boy about the cow then next paragraph he and who is he the old man he wants to get the boy's cow So, the old man told the boy that he will give him some special, remember they are special beans, right? Special beans if he give him his cow. This is what is happening in the picture. So you will start that I can see in this picture that the old man, I can see in this picture, the old man is asking the boy about the cow. He wants to get the boy's cow. So the old man told the boy that he will give him some special beans if he give him his cow. This is what happened in the whole uh, picture in the whole setting so this is how you are going to write about a setting remember what is setting setting is that uh, is where and when the story took place it is actually the time and the place where the story took place that is the setting okay and here in this story there were three settings and what were they the garden road to the market and the last one was the uh, jack's house but you have described the picture uh, which they have given about the setting when where jack is standing with his mother and the cow and looking at the garden this is how you have described the picture that what the what they are looking at they are looking at the garden can they smell anything they can smell the soil and the grass can they mm, what was the other question uh can they smell can they what sort of home is it it looks like an old home and what can uh, what can uh, you hear can, can they hear anything no they cannot hear anything so this is what you have this is how you have described the setting right so i hope you must have understood this thing you must have learned something like how to describe a setting by looking at the picture and by answering the questions right so please do do the homework which I'll be posting on portal and it is going to be related with the same task that is writing about setting. Okay class? Alright. And keep revising whatever we are doing every day. Okay children? Bye-bye. Have a nice day.